Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a video for my Stilltober project where I paint a different still from a movie or a show. And the theme will be Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban. This is going to be the first of 10 videos in the series where I will show all the supplies I'll be using and my process for this first title piece for the project. I used the Schminky Arrow Color acrylic inks for the line work and in my darker mixes. This LaFranc black permanent ink watered down in the little jar. Liquitex Burnt Sienna and the Schmincke Aero Color Brown Brazil watered down in this small jam jar just to make it easier to work with when using mixes with other colors. Liquitex acrylic inks in primary colors. I've never used acrylic inks before, so this will be a fun way to experiment with them and see what kind of effects I can make with them. I'm using various classic Faber-Castle colored pencils for textures or details and an assortment of permanent black fine liner pens. A glass nib pen. Various older cheap watercolor brushes in different sizes purchased from different places. Because I don't want the inks to ruin my brushes, and since it's my first time working with them, I'm not using any expensive or new ones. I'll be using masking fluid for the first time, and I'll be using this old plastic palette for all of my painting and mixes. Because I don't have any white ink, I'll be using some gouache from my palette whenever I want to add white or a light color on top of a darker ink. For the paintings, I'll be using this old Sea White watercolor travel journal in A6 size. I'm a little nervous about using new materials and about sharing my process while trying to create illustrations with them for the first time, but I'm also excited to learn how to use new tools and see what I can make with them.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the start of the series and that you'll join me for the coming pieces that I'll be sharing here too. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to watch the rest of the series as I upload them. And if you'd like to see more of my art or bits of my process, follow me on Instagram at paperleafink. See you soon.